Welcome. <clears throat> In this demonstration, we're going to walk through the process of creating a new service request within Microsoft Dynamics NAV. In this case, I'm logged into Dynamics NAV as the service customer service role center. So as I'm sitting in the office, I receive a call from Mindy Martin at the Canon Group, one of our customers. And she's requesting a potential service on one of their service items. What I'm going to do is right from my role center, select new service order. This is going to create a new, launch a new service order record and automatically assign the next available service order number for me. As I start typing in information, NAV will automatically find and search for a matching customer. In this case, it found Canon Group. Quick notes display, alerting me of any key information that I need to be aware of whenever I'm working with Canon Group. Next, I can select the ship to code uh, that we're referring to. In this case, she's calling regarding one of the pieces of equipment that we service at their Atlanta facility. I'll go ahead and select the Park Road facility here. Next I'm going to fill in the service order type field. In this case I can tell it what type of service is this. Is it a preventative maintenance call, a software service, hardware service, perhaps installation. In this case I'm going to select general repair service. Lastly I have a description field where I can enter a quick description. I can say unit is not functioning well or quickly. Now that I have the general information about the call and I'm tracking that this is Mindy Martin calling, I can select one of the service items that exists in our system. In this case, I can, I can tell Mindy that we have approximately nine or ten items that we're servicing at the Atlanta facility. I quickly can get, gather from her the serial number of the piece of equipment that she's calling regarding. Let's say it's this one right here. And I can select that service item onto the line. Once I do that, I can quickly see the type of item that it is, the serial number, a description of the product, uh, an initial repair status code. If I scroll over, you'll notice that this, uh, the warranty box is not checked. That quickly alerts me that this item is not currently covered under warranty based on the information defined for this serialized service item. Also, my contract number is blank, alerting me that this item is also not covered under a contract. In this case, any service generally will be chargeable to the client based on the actual time and material spent or a fixed fee charge that we can apply. Next, I can define a fault area code. This is a user-driven table that can be set up to define the general areas of service. In this case, let's say it's the mechanics. The symptom is that it is unstable. Lastly, I can define a potential fault code. Based on the combination of fault area and symptom, it may be that the wheels are damaged, there are loose parts, or there's excessive vibrating. Let's say we believe that the, there are loose parts. At this point, I can click up on comments, and I can add unlimited text comments here regarding uh, this situation. Mindy says that the unit is not stable and shuts down periodically throughout the day. No other details were provided. So at this point, I've completed the entry of this service order. If I had any other notes, Perhaps I wanted to alert the dispatcher, uh, this is a high priority service request as they use this machine daily. And I can send this to perhaps the dispatcher 
uh, where they will be able to uh, schedule service for this. Lastly, I have links. Perhaps Mindy had sent me a picture of the unit. Uh, I could attach that photo or other file that Mindy provided, perhaps a signed purchase order with this service order. I can attach that as a link directly to the service order so that it's visible to others within the organization. That completes my entry of the service order. And in the next demonstration, we'll look at how you, a user would dispatch this service order to the proper repair technician. Thank you.